TSUTigers.com. We're here with head men's basketball coach Travis Williams. Coach Williams, we just had the athletic banquet last night, so I guess the season, uh, at least the events of the season, are finally over. It was your first season as a head coach here at Tennessee State. Uh, how did it go? 18 and 15. you got to be pleased a little bit with that mark. Well, you know, as a coach, of course, you, you're always pleased whenever you can have a winning season, and, and especially with the type of schedule that we've had, you know, early through our tough non-conference schedule, you know. Um, and then to be at one point where you were five and seven, and then you lose Robert Covington at the midpoint of your season, and then the guys rally around that cause uh, to able to bring those guys together and let them know, hey, listen, this, that's why the important thing, the beautiful thing about basketball, it's a team team concept with, with what we're trying to do here in the basketball program. Yeah, and you mentioned the non-conference schedule is pretty tough, but then it seems like you guys really hit your stride in OVC play, eleven and five. It was the best mark since 93-94 in the conference. Talk about your play in conference this year. Well, I just think what I just alluded to, you know, the guys immediately after, you know, Robert Covington went down, the guys, I think we just bonded. We rallied around a certain cause, and that cause and making sure the guys felt one of the brothers that went down, and, and that's when we went on that seven-game winning streak. You know, we ended up beating, I think, UC, USC Upstate the, the following game, and they won six games in the, in the an OVC conference play, so started off 6-0. and So that says a lot about the makeup of our team and what we were trying to do throughout the year. Yeah, and that USC Upstate game, and a lot of those games were at home. Um, you guys finished 11-2 and at home. It's tied the best record ever here in the Gentry Center. Talk about your play at home this season. I think the most important thing, you got, you have to be able to you know, win at home. And, you know, one of our goals is make sure we take care of home. I think that's the most important, important thing, especially – after being on the road a while, you know, start off the first six games on the road, non-conference games on the road, and playing some tough caliber team. But I think the most important thing is being able to take care of home. You know, you get home, guys able to sleep in their beds, guys able to get the fan support, get the chillers, get Tigers gym, get the alumni fan and boosters. And the university as a whole and the community as a whole and the city of Nashville as a whole in your arena at home. And, you know, guys respond to that. Yeah, you finished, like we alluded to earlier, you had back-to-back you had a winning season this year, and it's the first time you've had back-to-back -back winning seasons in 16 years. Absolutely fantastic uh, season. As well, you had three uh, players selected to the All-OVC team. First, ti first time TSU's ever done that. Well, Talk about those three guys. Well, those three guys have been so much for the program. When you start off, you think about Robert Cutting, the young man that has been in a program for four years and had a distinguished career, you know, being recognized at HBCU All-American, being name's been a number of publications. But that young man came here and, and he really worked hard. He's really developed into the type of player he is, you know. And then had a, just last week he had a chance to go out to the Portsmouth, the NBA camp, and really showcase what he's capable of doing. And then now he's going to finish up in the next few weeks, and then he gets a month or so to really showcase what he's capable of doing against the scouts and general managers, et cetera, you know, where he could just focus on his career. So Robert Covington came here and really – you know, did a lot for this university, for the basketball program, for the city, on a, on a local level, but also on a national level. So then you you think about, you know, Kellen Thornton, your young man that I had, I sat down before the season even started and said, Kellen, a lot of folks don't know about you, you know, but my goal, I, and I knew that because I worked with post guys last year, what this young man was capable of doing. And I told him, you're going to be one of the best players in this league. And he showed. He really showed that he was capable of being one of the best players in the league. And it showed when games start because he was getting triple and double team every day. And for him to play through that and to make sure everyone stayed involved and we were able to establish an inside-outside game through his play says a lot about the type of player he is. And then, of course, you got to talk about Pat Patrick Miller, first-team all-conference guy. You know, he runs the team. He got us an eye set. And he makes sure everybody was happy. But at key, key moments, especially – when Robert Covington went down, I told him, I said, Pat, you got to get back in that scoring mentality mode where we need you to score for us to be successful during that seven-game winning streak. But Patrick Miller, a guy that plays significant minutes, top five in minutes play, I think he was top in assists per game. And, you know, and he and I always challenge him to, to, to guard the team's best offensive player. And he accepted those challenges without hesitation. Uh, and kind of let's talk about the banquet last night. That's the thing mm -hmm. freshest on us, freshest on our minds here. Uh, Robert Covington won TSU Male Athlete of the Year, uh, which is fantastic for him. But you went with Thornton and Miller as your co-MVPs. Explain that decision a little well, bit. I just think about uh, We just talked about when Robert Covington went down. and We were at a tough game stretch where we were five and seven. And those two guys brought the team together. And they said, listen, we're going to be okay. You know, and, and I think the leadership from, from Kellen Thorne, the leadership from Patrick Miller, two crucial position because 
what happened, our philosophy, my philosophy, and our program philosophy as, 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 a, as a basketball team, is, hey, we have to establish an inside-outside game. But you got to have capable pieces to make sure the ball getting inside. And so those two guys really played effectively off each other. And then you have to throw in the mix of what Jordan Cyphers was able to do. You know, we had four guys averaging double figures. Four of our five starters averaged double figures. So those guys really just, just bonded off each other and played well off each other. And Covington didn't come home empty-handed. Uh, he won, like I said, the Male Athlete of the Year, as well as he won your Coach's Award. Explain the decision to give him the Coach's Award and give the people at home a little bit insight on what the Coach's Award actually means. Well, really, it wasn't about basketball, you know, when I, when I decided to give Robert, Robert Covington the Coach's Award. You think he's been in the system. Robert's been our MVP. Robert's been, you know, all conference, everything. But more about the Coach's Award, just the way he handled himself on the court, off the court, Whenever I asked Robert, uh, anybody from the community or athletics asked Robert to do something, he did it and didn't hesitate at all. You know, like I said, I had, did, we did the Mayor Cardine Leadership Retreat, and it was unbelievable when he went out there and spoke to the kids and telling them his story and what he's been through and what he's trying to do and, and the position he is in now. So, Rob, he, he epitomized what it means to be a student athlete, you know on track to graduate with four years and then have an opportunity to get an opportunity to play professional basketball and doing it the right way. And then another one of your seniors won an award as well. Tashawn Frederick won your Pride Award. Talk about Frederick's play this year and what the Pride Award means. I mean, when you look at Tashawn Frederick, I mean, the, the Pride Award, he took great, great pride in, in being a part of the TSU basketball fabric. Whatever as a staff we asked him to do, T. Fred did it, and he did it with, with great sense of pride. And that's where that came out. His energy, his enthusiasm, his effort, his passion. A, a ball is on, on the floor. He's diving for loose ball, active hands, heat check. He was that glue guy, you know what I'm saying? I can bring him off the bench, I can start him. He was the type of guy, and every program needs a guy like that. Well, if you had a three-point award, I guess Jordan Cyphers would have won that. You didn't have that, but you had the leadership award. Uh, you gave that to Cyphers, another one of those seniors. Talk about his play and what the leadership award means. I think with Jordan being, Jordan Cyphers, who transferred here three years ago, I just he's such a young man that, that – if he's struggling or whatever, he wears that on his shoulder. And you could tell he's a passionate and he loves this game of basketball. He really loves this game of basketball. And Jordan shows so much leadership on and off the court. Even when he was struggling, he would stand up in front of the team sometimes crying and you could see the pain and frustration in his face. Guys, I won't let you down again. I won't let you down again. And that says a lot about his character and his leadership. So I looked at all those intangibles about Jordan when it came to that leadership award. He's already in grad school. You know, some guys would have got in grad school, didn't want to play the other, but he decided in grad school, going to pay a year, your master's, doing things the right way. And uh, it's going to be tough losing those seniors. Um as we've already talked about, Covington, Thornton, Frederick, Cyphers, all those guys. But the cupboard's not bare here at Tennessee yeah. State. You've got Pat Miller, who is all first team OVC. You've also got Jay Harris as well as MJ Rett. And you've got a great recruiting class coming in. Talk about that a little bit, the future of the program. Well, listen, you, you probably you, you, you return Pat Miller, who's probably going to be a preseason you know, player of the year consideration. You know, And he has to have an outstanding summer. Pat, I'm expecting Pat to have a big summer this year. This summer, you know, we'll get him in his different camps, elite camps, and really get his name out there, get his name, you know, to the forefront. Just the same trick and on effect that we did with Robert Covington. The guy has paid his dues. We're going to get him. But more importantly, Pat Miller's such a young man that's, that's on track to graduate with a finance degree in business, you know, doing things the right way. You know, he has a great reputation on and off the court, on the campus, in the community. I mean, such a fine uh, student athlete, you know, but Pat Miller – He's going to be the backbone to this program. I'm expecting him to have a lot of leadership. I'm expecting him to step in the leadership role and, and bring the young guys uh, through the system. But you talk about Jay, Jay Harris, who's just his energy, his effort, his desire, his passion, just his enthusiasm for opportunities for this program speaks and Bob. And, of course, MJ Ritt, probably one of the most athletic players that we've coached. You know, he's got he's to be ready to go. And I think that's important with the strong nucleus of guys, we, our recruiting class, et cetera. And, and kids, we continue to recruit. Like I said, we're still in the season. It's late signing period. We're still working hard to staff. We're still bringing young men in here on visits. And, and we, we want to have a really, really good recruiting class and keep this program moving forward. Thanks, Coach, and good luck on the recruiting trail. Thank you.